Hey everybody. Yeah. I'm back for the second meal. You know, from the poke roast and the uh, ham ox. This is going to be the second meal. This right here is using the pork roast. So, we're going to do some pulled pork, um, potato salad, and some baked bean, and a little Texas toast. Yeah, I told you it's going to be three. I got another one after this one. So, hold on. Let me get to this. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to cut up my vegetable. It's going to go in my potato salad and some to go in my baked beans. Now, you fix yours the way you fix yours, and I'm going to fix mine the way I fix mine. Oh, before we get started, I'm going to show you something. I told you that skillet was from my mom. Here's the skillet. When you wash it, you just wash it out, wipe it out, really. Give it a good wash out. And then put a little oil in it. That preserves it. Keeps it from rusting. This one. And this one. See how nice and shiny they are? They don't stick. Well. I don't know how old these skillets are. My mom gave them to me. And I'm 60. If my mother was living, she'd be 86. And she got them when she was young. So you'll have to do the math. I can't tell you how old these skillets are. But they're definitely older than I am. Um, yeah. And uh, these are priceless. If I was to put something in the safe, those will go in the safe. Cast iron skillets like this, and as old as it is, and still going strong. Yeah. That's that's my mom. She had a whole bunch of them, um, and my younger brother suddenly somehow got rid of them after my mother passed. But she had gave these to me. When I moved out. Yeah. And I've kept up with them. Tried to take care of them. Young people don't value stuff like that. Mm-mm. Now you go get a $200 set, two $300 set. These are worth more than that. Yeah. So let me get to these vegetables. Hold on. So because I'm only making a little. Hold on. Okay. So. I'm going to cut up enough of this to go in potato salad. And my baked beans. And I'm only making a little of each. You know, my boys don't eat potato salad. I'm pretty sure they don't eat the baked beans either. They don't eat beans. My youngest son, he'll eat the refried beans in his taco salad or something like that. But that's about it. You've seen me cut up onions before. I'm just going to kind of dice these. And 
And I'm going to make some stove top baked beans. And this right here is more than enough onions. So I probably saved some of these for some tuna. I love tuna too. I like it with fresh crackers. Yeah, it gotta be crunchy. And I like it on the sandwich as well. But it, mostly I like to eat it with crackers. Just kind of put it on the plate and eat it like a salad. I'll probably do that on a video. I think I got these chopped up pretty good. Man, that's my onions. I got a little green pepper here that I've already used before I cut the other one. You yeah, don't waste anything. Mm -hmm. Grandson didn't like anything that don't have this and don't have that because he never eat whoever was fixing it didn't fix it properly so he's finding his taste buds and chop these up as well And man, it must be the only one eating a potato salad. Unless thing two and thing three mom come by. The rest of them don't eat potato salad. They didn't get like this till they got grown. Because I cooked all the time. Yeah. And they ate what I put on their plate. They said because I cooked all the time. Now they just rather have some fast food. Or something quick and easy. Now all their friends wanted to come to the house because they knew I was cooking. But they said, we've been eating all the time. They don't want home cook. Hmm. Sous chef and thing too? Yeah. They eat what Nanny eats. Okay. So, 
That's all I'm going to cut up of these. Onions and green peppers. I think it's going to be a plenty. Yeah. So let me get my potatoes together. Hold on. Okay. okay. Got my potatoes and two eggs in there. Yeah, I told you it's going to be a small one. And this is about maybe three potatoes. It's not many. So I'm going to cut my eggs up in here. I have an egg cutter. Ain't no need messing up those dishes. It's only two eggs, and I'm the dishwasher. I'm going to eggs chopped up in there. Now I'm going to put a handful of this green pepper in here. Not much. And I'm put a handful of this onions in here. Uh, Miss is not big on onions and green peppers either. But I am. Okay. Move this out of the way. Okay, and to this, I'm going to add I'm going to add some garlic powder. Some onion powder. You make your potato salad your way, I'm going to make it my way. Some salt. Black pepper. Celery seeds. Some sugar. You, probably, you put a sugar in everything. It's mine. Now I'm the one got to eat it. This way I grew up making it. Mustard. Relish. I just got a little bit in here. Or throw it this away and might as well use it. I got another one here. A little bit of this air, but they're easy to open. Salad dressing. You know, I don't fool with that mayo. Don't like this real soupy either. Don't want it dry, but don't want it soupy. I'm gonna stir it up. And I like my potato salad to be yellow. With the eggs and the mustard it should be yellow. That's my opinion. Mm 
You bet them like this yellow. Let's taste it. You put this in the sink. Spoon. A little shake of salt. Mm, just a dash of sugar. Always taste your food to make sure it's good. If it's not good to you, it's not going to be good to anybody else. Perfect. Another spoon, smooth it out. I'm gonna leave it in this container here. Add a little paprika on top. Tennessee North version of potato salad. Let's get to these beans. Hold on. Okay. In this pot here, I'm going to put a little oil. And I'm going to put my onions in here. Not all of them. Just a few. And some green pepper. So I'm going to saute these down a little bit. Yeah, let's see. Just sauteing them down a little bit. Because I'm doing a stove top, they're not going in the oven where they can sit and you know, get soft. So I get them soft this way. Now I got two cans of uh, beans here. Two different kinds. Uh, this is a Van Camp pork and beans and this is a bush right here. So I'm pouring some of the juice off of them. Now, the kids I do have that eat baked beans, they don't like meat in their baked beans. Not pork anyway. I mean, not ground beef. Hold on. Okay. They're looking pretty good. I'm going to pour my beans off in here. 
Well, we're using what's in the house. We're not going out for anything. And these are two random cans I had in here. Okay. And these baked beans, I'm adding some mustard. Some syrup. This is just regular pancake syrup. Some barbecue sauce. Relish. Onion powder. Yep, a little sugar. Oh, and that potato salad. Oh, I did it. I showed that celery seeds. And this right here is a little barbecue seasoning. Missing a little something, needs a little something. Hmm. Add a bit more sugar. Getting a clean spoon. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's let this simmer and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes. They don't like ground beef. But I'm putting some shoulder in it. You want to keep stirring because you don't want it to stick. This right here is about done. Let me get a spoon and taste, see where we're at.
There it is. It's on the main. I had added a little more smoke to that meat. Yeah. When I chop that up, it's right. When you cook it outside on the stove, uh, outside on the grill or in the smoke, it, that that um, hickory smoke and stuff intensifies. It gets really into it. I'll cut these off. Let's get to the meat and the toast. Okay. <clears throat> I got some of the shoulder here. I gotta chop it up. Okay. See, it's all chopped up here. That's the stove heating up. Okay. Now from here, hold on. Okay. From here, we're going to season it up some more. So first, we're going to put a little vinegar on it. salt. If you notice when I cooked it, I didn't put no salt in it. Black pepper. The purple top. The barbecue seasoning. And this is some sweet mesquite. Now we're going to add a little mesquite uh, liquid smoke and we're going to add some hickory. You got to put your flavors, get it, get it going so it tastes like something. Put a little hickory to it. Okay. Matt. Just a little garlic. A little onion powder. Now if you put this outside on a, a smoker or a grill, you wouldn't have to do all this. And we're going to hit it with a dash of hot sauce. My hands are clean. I'm going in with mixing it now. I'm making a mess. Get a fork so I can taste it. Yeah, and I put some of the fat in it, you don't want dry meat, and chop that up in there too. Let's go to the stove. Okay, here's my skillet, and I'm going to put my meat off in it. Because it's... It's done cooled down. It's cold now. So we're going to heat it back up. Okay. 
going to go put some low heat on it so we can plate it. This is non-stick, so I don't need to put any oil in it to heat it up. Just toss it around. as I go, so that noise you hear in the background is me washing up the cutting board. Okay. Let me plate this. Okay. Ready for the end result? So I decided to in my opinion I think it's restaurant quality. That's my opinion. I'm the one got to eat it. So I thought I'd serve it like the restaurant would. Pulled pork, baked beans, potato salad, a pickle. You might not eat a pickle with yours, but you know. And some buttered Texas toast. See if I can make sure I get this all in there. Yeah. Ooh. Let me speak to the Lord about this one. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to put some of this on mine. Drinking ice water. Ooh, okay. I know my eyes are going to go back in my head. Hope I don't fall off this stool. Another fall. Pull pork. Yellow potato salad. If you want yours white, make yours white. Go good with that barbecue. These baked beans with a little pork in them. Texas toast should have a crunch. Mm-hmm. You do? Mm-hmm. I told you, I had another one for you.
Yeah. Mm. Mm. I thought this is a prank for me. You know, they'll pick away. Mm. It's the hammer, is it? Mm. You couldn't tell me this didn't come from the restaurant. Better than a restaurant. Let me slow down before I bite myself. Mm. Let me now look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, mercy me. Mm, mm, mm. Putting that uh, pork in that, those beans, and had already put a little smoke on it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And potato salad. Mm. Lower. Hold on. Sorry about that. Had to answer the phone. While I was talking, I let my stuff get cool. Still good. Still good. Mm, mm, mm. Well done. You know, I'm gonna rate this. I'm gonna rate this high. It's a 15 by my standards. I don't know what you would say. Ooh, come out the rest behind this one. Yeah. I don't know. Round in these parts, they serve this like this. Something about the barbecue sauce, the hot sauce or something, a pickle deal. Oh. Let's put this up for later. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And we'll the ice water.
Yeah, delish. Mm. We made the thing out. Mm. And I got one more video meal with the uh, pulled pork. Yeah. I told you it's going to be three. Me and my brother man on uh, Martin used to say fifth flow. <laughs> This has been good. If you like anything about this video, you know, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell someone about old Tennessee North. Yeah. Hold on tight. I got one more video for this shoulder. Hit that button in the corner. It's the notification button. That way you know when I'm coming back. And I'm finna come back. With another one. Bye now.